Hello, welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Tuesday, June 28th, 2021 by Gaia Bluni. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I am responsible for my feels. And we start off today with some strong feeling energy, um, strong intuitive energy, maybe even some interesting dreams coming up. That was interesting because I've mentioned this strong Mars energy coming in and like it's here <laughs> it's here um the Mars is building to this opposition with Saturn and building into the square with Taurus and I think we're even more sensitive to the layers of feeling energy due to the fact that we are Sun Cancer energy right now and so it's funny because speaking of dreams it just popped in um, Joe is feeling the Mars energy, and I'm like, ah, you are, you are expressing the Mars energy. He's just, it's oozing from every pore. Um, <laughs> and he's like, even my dreams were angry last night. So, so, dreams, very prolific, but again, you may find yourself expressing some of what you are experiencing energy-wise through your dreams. So just keep that in mind. That just popped up. Um, so sun, trying the moon, sun in cancer, moon in Pisces, strong intuition. This is great to take time to meditate. Ground in because the water can sometimes feel very ungrounded. You know, you're you're up on the wave and you're high and then you're low and you're crashing down, you know, in the wave. So getting grounded can help balance you to move through these tidal energies. It'll also help you for the other two connections. So the other two connections we have going on today is the moon connecting to Uranus and the moon connecting to Mercury. So both Mercury and Uranus have mental energy. That Uranus energy um, <laughs> may make us feel lazy cat. The moon is in Pisces, uh, Uranus and Taurus. The combination of Pisces and Taurus can lazy cat us a bit. So if you're feeling, I actually have that card at the top, the laziness card. If you're feeling that energy, do try to take it easy on yourself. I also think a lot of times when the universe kind of like, I don't know, kind of pulls our energy rug out from underneath us, we are meant to go in and do some deeper work at that time, even if we're not conscious get that card too. Even if we're not conscious of the work that's happening, a lot of times processing is happening. And that may be in this instance because Uranus can bring up those triggers. Uranus is meant to evolve us, but a lot of times it is the triggers and those harder things to work through that we need to work through to help evolve. So we may have that come up. And again, it may not even necessarily be something very conscious. Because that moon in Pisces, you may be dealing with a trigger from like lifetimes ago and you're like, I don't know what's going on, but I'm uncomfortable. Be still, let it process. <laughs> the other uh, connection, moon squaring Mercury. Again, this can feel a little like, eh, what do I believe? What do I submit to mentally wise? I don't, I don't think today's the day where you have to like make that decision because I think if you try to make a decision you may find yourself swinging around wildly depending on the state of your field in any given moment so I think be with it you don't have to make a decision don't don't try to torture yourself trying to decide right now the mental cards are like no thank you <laughs> just know there is some kind of breakthrough some kind of I don't know long chain release coming for you and again your work may be just to like be still and ohm. <laughs> be still and listen. Be still and space. Whatever fits in for you in and through that energy. I also have the Hermit card. Take some time for sure today just to be in your own energy. Just to recalibrate because again I think we're feeling a lot of the stuff that's going on out there and that can really feed in and just being in your own energy bubble for a minute it's like Oh, here I am. What I was feeling wasn't mine, right? Um, so like I said, that Mars energy, it's coming in. So just watch for that and check your reactions, check your volcanoes. All of that will help. So that's it for today. You can book a reading with me. Email me, MimiClark at gmail.com. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power and stay curious. Namaste.